Hello and thank you for joining us. Typically, summer is the prime time to sell your home. But thanks to a declining economy and the increasing number of people leaving our city, summer sales are stalling. As Jamie Morocco reveals, if you have to unload your home, there are a few things you can do to up your chances. But you might not like them all. So the island is nice this time? For the last 11 years, Deborah Arbick has lived in this Douglas Glen home. But ready for a change, she's opting for a life lakeside in BC. There's a lot going for this house, and I think it'd be perfect for somebody. It's just not perfect for me right now. Arbic's four bedroom place has been on the market since March. Like many sellers, she's stuck in the midst of a 20 month slump. I didn't honestly think it would take this long to sell. Sales in July, usually one of the peak months, were also down 12.6% compared to last year. Motivated to move, Arbic decided to switch realtors. Uh, selling can be frustrating and we want to eliminate all the questions up early. Darren Lane Gill says you can sell in any market but have to be prepared to make changes. The first step, dropping the price. You used to add a, a premium to your home. Now you have to give that into the initial purchase price to get the interest from the buyer marketplace. Arbic reduced her listing by $60,000. Then it's on to decluttering and staging. As a seller, there's a lot of work to have to be done, but we call it sweat equity more than anything. And finally, getting the word out. So you have to do uh, more marketing than ever before. This, of course, here will pass by as our formal dining room. Back inside, our big admits following Lane Jill's advice hasn't been easy, but... We are hopeful that now it'll make a change. This house is designed for a family. Confident they'll find that family soon so she can move on to her new life on the West Coast. And Jamie, you've been studying this month's market numbers, so who was hit the hardest? Well, Tara, depending on what you buy, actually, no matter what you you were selling, whether it be a house or an apartment, it's going to be hard to unload in this economic climate. But those who were hardest hit, especially in the month of July, were those people who were trying to sell semi-detached or townhomes. Year over year, they saw a decline in sales of 3.1 and 5.5 percent, respectively. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like that's changing anytime soon. According to the Calgary Real Estate Board, chief economist as well as the real estate agent in my story uh, we aren't going to be seeing the housing market rebound until the job market does and if you want to see uh, a larger breakdown of the housing numbers from that uh, Kreb report you can always head to our website calgary.ctvnews.ca Jamie Morocco reporting thank you Jamie